Yo, what's going on everyone, and welcome to a brand new episode of the Truck of Tomorrow series, the custom series that I do every single week. We have a new paint scheme, it's still with Allegiant, but you know what, I'll take it. World Center of Racing, Daytona. I'm excited for this. Now, I wanted to I put a little challenge on myself. So, of course, we're using a default setup, and it's straight down the middle right here. This is what it is. And, um... What we're going to do is we have the draft settings on low, but with the hardest difficulty. So let's see how we can do and make our way to the front. Um, now, with that being said, I'm not expecting qualifying to go all that well. By the way, Tessim, Gozy, welcome to the stream, my guys. How is everyone doing tonight? Go, go, go. Black Friday, did you guys get everything all uh, shopping wise? Cameron, welcome to the stream, man. Man, we have everyone today. So I am not expecting a good qualifying run because, you know, oh my god, we have David in here as well. Welcome to the stream, everyone. So yeah, we're going a little bit of challenge mode here at Daytona. Now, one thing that I did do to kind of give myself a little extra boost is to uh, um, NASCAR, welcome to the stream, man. I didn't, I must have... Uh, not seen your first message because uh, when I loaded in my uh, my last thing, I must not have seen it. But yeah, I am doing pretty good. I did enable draft partners, so let's see how well we can do around here with draft partners. When in my practice race, I did about um, about ten laps, and I got from starting basically dead last. I got to about twentieth by lap ten. So, we'll see if we can kind of beat that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not expecting qualifying to go well, so right now we're just kind of putt putting along. Not doing a whole lot. Man, no one did... No one did Black Friday. No one got those uh, tank NASCAR Heat 4 deals, because apparently it's like 25% off or something like that. I don't know. I got a couple things, but that was about it. There's this uh, sick bundle um, at Best Buy uh, for 90 bucks. It's it's like 170 without the bundle, um, and it is what's it called? All right, coming to the green. Um, you get a uh, a keyboard, a mouse, and a uh, headset, plus another thing which I can't really remember. But you can get that for like 90 bucks. And I, I got that, because that is, that's pretty, that's like a steal, because all of it individually valued is like 170. So basically you get like, um, what was it, like basically 50% off. David, you just finished third Texas? Nice, seventh in points. Well, you know, for a hot second, don't mean to toot my own horn, but in the uh, career mode, when I won at Richmond to get into the play, uh, to get into the round of eight, that was the first time all season that I got first in points, and I'm probably not going to finish there. So yeah. All right, that's it. So 49.9 was it's going? Oh, 31st. Good talk. <laughs> that's not good. But welcome everyone. Uh, let's see who gets the opening point because how the truck of tomorrow works. Um, you get a point for pole position. It looks like that honor goes to Grant Enfinger. Okay, so. That's one championship point that's already taken. At least I wasn't last. Yep, step one right there. So you can have both? Oh man, Cozy, man, you got it. And we got moved up two whole spots. So, chat, 29th is our official starting spot. We got 100 laps. Let's get it. Let's see what we can do. But qualifying is never a true indication on speed. Thanks, David. Hey, there's, there we are. Tyler Dibble looks a bit slow today. Well, honestly, that's just probably the best place for it because it's Daytona. Speed, straight up speed won't matter. But like I said, we're already in the playoffs, so we're just kind of having a little fun. Right, Daytona is always a pleasure to watch. Ready? And we are green. Johnny Sauter's behind us, so, well, his day is just not going off uh, pretty well. Let's see who our first draft partner is going to be, if Johnny is going to take that honor. Are they on the 
So I kind of learned how to manipulate the uh, uh, the draft partners a little bit. You kind of have to rub up on them a little bit, and you uh, will eventually just become their partner. But now the thing is, why I think this is going to be like a little bit of a challenge mode is because they will block you. Two races tonight? No, unfortunately not, man. Uh, I'm a little tired, and I think just well, this is going to be it for tonight. Well, Johnny's. Okay, yep, Johnny's pushing us. Let's go. Come on, Johnny. Go, Johnny. Go, go. Johnny and I are first and second in points right now, so it makes sense that we're just kind of back here, just chillaxing. Not doing a whole lot. Oh, we're going to get sidetracked to the hell. Still there. I'll tell you what, though. Since we're not doing two full races, we can uh, we can kind of just chillax a little bit. See what uh, we're all around. See what Eldora or some kind of online uh, can get us. It won't be for on uh, for that long, though. Just until like two o'clock or so. But yeah, it looks like Johnny and I are gonna climb our way to the front here. If he's just going to stick with me, I'll stick with him. Here's Matt Crafton. Now, Daytona is going to be a huge indicator on uh, where points are going to shuffle because, you, who knows, someone in the Truck of Tomorrow series, uh, you need to be in the top 25 in regular season points in order to get a win to get in. So, if anyone Still below there. the current cut line, which the current points are down below, um, take a take a look Careful. and see uh, who might win. Still there. Yeah, Johnny's still with us. He's going to follow me to victory. He's going to push me Stay to well. a second straight win. Because if you uh, missed it last time around at Atlanta... Oh, uh, yeah, it wasn't even fair. Stay low. There is. By the way, if I step out of line, I kind of have to just cooperate with uh, the draft here. Because if I step out of line, I am going straight to the back. But this bottom lane is moving. Got a car high now. So it's actually really lucky that we started in the bottom lane. Yeah. Hopefully not. The big one doesn't happen here. Stay on the bottom. That was a great lap. That wasn't the fastest lap, but it was a good lap. I guess no one in front of us wants to draft, so... It's only Johnny below, but oh, we got side drafted to hell there. Who is that? Josh Rium? Whoa, Johnny's pushing us in the middle of the center. Right in the middle of the center. Good talk. Center of the corner. Stay low. There you go, man. Come on, Johnny, push me. Still there. Well, at least we de uh, didn't DNQ, you know? That would have been... That would have been awful. Okay, so it looks like we got kind of got out of uh, the draft, but we're behind Decker right now, so... That can only mean... Still there. Oh, wow, she actually got out of her way. Nice. But yeah, we are... Okay, Johnny's back up, up here with us. We are getting sidetracked to hell. Come on, Johnny, let's go. Thank you, Johnny, let's go. Sick Austin Hill scheme, dude. Hello. Hello, Sewer Freezing, how are you? But look at us. We basically went from last to first here. And I think Johnny is done with us. He He's leaving us out to our own devices. But look at all these uh, uh, quote-unquote no-names up here, you know? We have uh, 
Uh, we have Dylan Lupton. We have Jordan Anderson back here, which Jordan Anderson's already in the playoffs right now, currently. Here's Johnny. Harrison Burton up here. He's already in the playoffs. But we have Clay Greenfield. It looks like Jennifer Jo Cobb is up there in the lead. At least I think that is. Stay on the bottom. And I just want to remind everyone that this is on low uh, low draft settings. So literally, I'm getting like almost no help here. I, I'm trying to stay in the draft as much as possible. It's going to be hard for me to the farther and farther uh, upwards we go. All clear. Like if I get out of line, we're gonna see what they can do because it looks like Austin Hill and Harrison Still Burton kind of linked up there. But well, we got a massive run, but I think we're gonna lose it right here. Maybe Dylan Lupton wants to team up here. Still there. That's my Seal of approval. No, he doesn't want to? Okay, whatever. That was a great lap. Alright. I guess back to Sheldon Creed wants to. Still there. Yeah, there we go. GMS teammates. Sheldon Creed and I. Still Where's there. Prem Moffat at? I All right, you're clear. haven't seen him in a little bit. I know he has the Plan B sales, uh, so he has a um, so he has a different kind of scheme. Honestly, I'm kind of glad that trucks are doing more, uh, are doing more, uh, short tracks again, because they're going back to Richmond. So yeah, hopefully that can, uh, stay the same right there. We can stay the course. As soon as I get out of the draft, I, I, I lose it. They do, actually. Still there. Swung down. Is Sheldon Creed going to pick me up again, or is he done? Looks like he's done with me. But see, like, I tried to uh, get something happening down here with uh, below Harrison Burton. And I kind of, I kind of just got left out to dry. My mo my momentum literally just stops. Still there. But look at us, chat. From last to almost a top five. Travis Quaffles in the lead. When is the last time that I was able actually able to say that? All clear. All right, Jordan Anderson, are you? Yes, he wants to draft. All right, let's go. Let's catch this top five, Jordan. Oh, I guess not. Okay, well, I guess I'm just going to catch these guys naturally then. We have the two Nice Motorsports uh, trucks up here. Oh no, uh, NASCAR, I saw that. Yeah, I acknowledged it. I, I read it. Man, it is just a straight line up here. Who do we have? We have Travis Quaffle, Clay Greenfield, um, Kyle Benjamin, then Ross Chastain. Oh, wait, no, that's my Snyder. Sorry. And then Ross. I guess I, I kind of want to go where the uh, where the trucks are, which is at, at the bottom. Who is that? Josh Room? That's Mason Massey. Oh my God! Oh, we got a good run, but we have nowhere to go with it. Like down here, maybe? Nope. Okay. Oh man, see, welcome to the 100% club. 
Alright, Ross, I guess if you just want to lose the lead, or lose the, uh, this position here. All clear. So, maintain this momentum. Just stay on the bottom. And we just stall out, okay. That's not good. Yeah, exactly. There is no up down. Back or down. First caution. Okay. Um, Daytona is a two stopper. I don't think anyone's pitting. If no one, no one's pitting, so there's probably a car, out, a truck out of this race right now. You're gonna restart on the bottom, which is good. Johnny Sar is gonna be behind us, so first and second in points are going to uh, be teaming up here. All right, yep, if no one else is pitting, I'm not gonna pit. So who's out of this race? All right, out here. Oh yeah, honestly, I should, uh... All right, let's go. Wait, who, who is that? Is that Spencer, is that Spencer Boyd? I think it is. Well, well, sucks to suck, I guess. Oh yeah, no, I, I'm always pumped, man. I can't wait for the movie to come out. Outside, outside. Oh, Johnny abandoned us. Okay, so I guess never mind on that. Oh, we got a terrible restart. I'm floundering. Come on, Johnny, let's go. Oh, he gave us a good shove right there. There we go. I'll tell you what, it's just so hard to control, though, when... And they're right on uh, the back of you. Three wide, bottom of three. All right, you're clear. There we go. He literally, Johnny shoved us back up here. So Austin Hill got the better of us there. Let's maintain this momentum. Look high. Oh, I guess if they're blocking the bottom, there's nowhere else to go because I'm going to get hung out to dry on the top. But look at a bunch of unlikely heroes up here. We have Clay Greenfield, Kyle Benjamin, Travis Quaffle, and then Austin Hill, all of which are in very closely a win to get in. There we go. So Austin Hill is now our draft partner. Now that thing, it, that means Wherever he goes, we go. Still there. But also inversely, like watch, if he starts drifting up and I drift up, then he'll follow me. Or if I drift down, Still he'll there. block me. Which is, so it's it's kind of like a double-edged sword here as we hit the bottom. Ah, uh, that's not good. We lose a ton of momentum, but Still Ross there. is gonna give us a, a good old shove. There we go. Take us to victory, Ross. Nice. Congrats, NASCAR. Win that uh, WWE ch title belt. I'm kidding. Nice job with the championship, my guy. Let's go, Mike. Let's go, my dude. Oh, I guess Ross just didn't want to draft with us anymore. Still there. Clear high, bud. But yeah, we got... Oh, that's my Snyder. Oh, my God. My Snyder's looking for two wins in the season. But yeah, Chad, how's everyone doing tonight? For everyone that just is stopping in, welcome. This is the Truck of Tomorrow series. My custom championship that I do every week. I have the points and what is going on, essentially, down below in the Twitch box. If you're watching this on YouTube, it is going to be in the description. So, thank you all, everyone, for stopping on out. 
Hopefully I'm putting up a good show for everyone. Up here in P3, we started P... Well, we qualified P31, but we started P29, so we're doing like a worst to first challenge. Okay, I'm definitely going to need some help. If I'm going to win this race, it looks like, I'm definitely going to need uh, some help from people behind me. Because I'm already starting to flounder. I have no draft whatsoever. You know I'm behind them, I have no draft. I'm catching a little bit, but they have to be... They have to be uh, nose and stern. Yep, 25% down, 80 to go. So is that Mason Massey? Ooh. I'm just, I am, I picture Mason Massey wants to draft. I can just picture that there is going to be a surprise winner. There's going to be an upset victory today. I can feel it in my bones. All right, come on, mate. Come on, Mason. What do the numbers mean, Mason? There we go. Lock my signer to the outside. Try to get in Austin Hill's draft. Get, we're, get, we're getting a little bit of help from uh, Mason Massey behind us. And we have 18 laps to go before we need a pit. So essentially to lap 40. And that will be essentially, like I said, for a, uh, a two-stop around here. Hey, there you go. On to Heat 4. Looks like we're just nose and stern right now back here and from first to about eighth. We're just kind of Austin Hill's bobbing and weaving. He's trying to break the draft, but sir, we have 77 to go. Ooh, okay. Only one person's pitting. What sucks is I'm going to be on the outside. Hey, it's, that's, that's still great, though, you know? Got to enjoy it while it lasts. Granite Fingers last. He started on pull, my guy. What are you doing back there? Let's see if there's any unlikely heroes in the top ten. And Natalie Decker's in ninth. I swear to God, if she wins this race. <laughs> if she wins this or Dega... Because those are, like, probably her best opportunities for one. Is the 500? Oof. Alright, Johnny. You and me up here. We're not, we're not gonna flounder here. You and me, Johnny. Let's go. Johnny, why are you why are you betraying me, Johnny? Austin Hill's blocking. We're still on the outside. Still on the outside, but we're getting a push from Austin and Wayne Self. But now it says Johnny. That's not right. It's still Austin Wayne Self. He's, he's beating and banging. He's pushing on my bumper. And we lead our first lap. Oh, man, we are just tooth and nail right now. Oh, okay, yep, we lost it. We've been compromised. Oh, we're still on the outside. 
Come on, let's go. Austin and myself, I think we're both clear. There we go. We both blend in, so we both win here. All right, back to fourth we go. Yeah, there you go. Just treat it as a new year. Yo, Fan14, welcome to the stream, my guy. Yeah, return to the queen. Okay, another 15 laps before we need to come on down. Did someone lose the draft back there? And Johnny is... He is holding steady. Oh, he's... Okay, because he's drafting with Parker Klagerman. That's why. They're, uh... All NASCAR call that. They are locked on. What is that? Oh, Johnny, why... Oh, why are you cheating? Chad, that is... They are locking bumpers. NASCAR officiating. Come on. Okay, I'm going to break that up. Bumper busters, here we go. All clear. There we go. We just gotta give Parker Clickman a little push. And we got Austin Wayne Self back. But yeah, watch. Like, I'll go low. Parker Clickerman blocks me. Oh, you make a move. All right, back to second. Now, there must have been some kind of damage with Austin Wayne Self because his nose is kind of pushed in. Awesome. And then Austin Hill up here is trying to break the draft. But little by little, we're, get, we're getting up there. Yeah, seriously. If only that wasn't actually a thing, you know? That that could actually, they could uh, call them out on. Because Parker Kligerman and Johnny Sauter were locking bumpers. And if this was real, come on now. It's, we're not going to have a Brett Moffitt sewer freezing incident, you know? Right now, we're just kind of holding steady. I can't, for the life of me, get to Austin Hill. I think I can put a lot more tape on, and that's gonna uh, that's gonna increase my pace a little bit. Because 230 is definitely something you can play around with. That temperature can definitely go up. I don't want it going past 240 though. So I think I'm gonna put about to about 50% tape and see where that we're at with that. So Austin Wayne Self keeps getting back onto us here. Johnny Sawyer is not going away. He is fast. Who else is that? Is that Maya Snyder? That, oh, that's Brett Moffat. Brett Moffat made his way back up here. Not 
Nine more laps. We've already had two cautions for uh, various reasons, but no big one yet. We have yet to encounter the big one, but someone did blow a tire, it looks like, going careening into turn one. But I don't think that caused any uh, anything yet. And if I look behind me, oh wow. What is this, the February Xfinity race? We are just nose and stern right now, one solid line. Well, I guess Austin now wants to go to the top. I guess now we're really ex the Daytona Xfinity race. Kind of lost the draft a little bit. Got to block Austin Wayne self. Lock back onto him. He's going to give me a push. Gonna get a draft from Austin Hill in front of me and Austin myself behind me. Gonna make a move inside. All right, new leader, new leader. All right, you're clear. Now, when does Austin myself just totally ditch me? Oh, it looks like right now. gonna run this uh, double yellow and whoever's gonna pass me has to do it from the top side. We do have a line forming with Austin. Uh... Austin Hill scheme is pretty good. Looks like these two don't want to draft with me anymore. But Austin Hill is forming back up on the top. We have six more laps. Hopefully, uh, I don't know. I feel like we have done a terrible job at saving fuel. Oh, there, yeah, there's a good size uh, outside line starting over here. No, that's fine. Let Austin Hill get past me. Still there. That's he's doing that all by his lonesome too. There we go. Austin Main Self wants to draft again. Still there. That's here's we have a bumping coming. If that was for the victory, that would have been epic. Oh yeah, no, all those schemes look good too. Right, I totally agree with you. Like Austin Hill scheme, definitely. You have Allgaier, and of course, I actually do am a, a, um, a uh, proponent for uh, Kyle Busch's uh, hazelnut spread scheme. Four more laps. see how this all shakes on out. Oh, we have a person going to the inside, trying to of Johnny Sauter. Oh, wow. Watch. He's going to get past me. Awesome. Went, yep, right there. Then he locks back up to me. I get the lead, he'll back on off. Stay low. Clear high, bud. Uh, 
but we're coming close to pit stops right now. I definitely feel like I'm going to lose a lot of positions here on pit road. I can feel it in my bones. Car outside. I've been benefiting by just maintaining my line down here, so I'm just going to continue what I'm doing what I'm doing. All clear. No help. No help still gets uh, to the front. But Johnny Sauter is... Uh, oh, wow, that is tight. Jennifer Jill Cobb is pushing him. I couldn't stop that. That was... Whoa, I was not expecting... I was not expecting a push going into turn one there. Alright, next time by, next time by. Oh, okay, so we're definitely gonna be the late stoppers here. There's car there's trucks already coming down pit road. Yep, this time, this time. Yo, Brent's sorry, deep freeze, I keep forgetting that's you. Welcome man, how are you doing today? All right, come on, Johnny. Oh, he's he's swerving. All right, this time, chat. We have a lot of trucks. We're gonna kind of go up here. You're almost out of gas. Outside, outside. Drop the speed, driver. Definitely being uber cautious there. Oh, hello. Alright, so... Yeah. Put that up a little bit. Two cans of fuel only? Nah, my guy. We have 33% tire wear. Alright, 15.2. Hopefully that's good enough. Definitely enough to get ahead of Johnny. But here he is. He wants to draft with me. Oh, huge shove. Huge shove. That gave me rear end damage. Good talk, Johnny. Why'd you do that, my guy? There we go. It's it's a drag race. Car outside. All clear. Austin Hill wants a draft. Travis Quaffle is the only person out on track right now. Will we actually retain the lead here? Car outside. Oh, Giant was coming in too hot and heavy. He's actually, he's getting help from Dylan Lupton, but he's holding his own. Still there. Travis Quaffle still. Car outside. Hold your line. Still holding his own. Austin, he'll kind of back up a little bit. Don't lock bumpers. There we go. He finally backs off. Yep, uh, and it's actually pushing me. Careful, still there. You got room. You're clear. There we go. Dylan Lupton is the one pushing me now. Okay, now, all right, back off a little bit, my guy. You're kind of pushing me. 
Hey, back off a little bit. There we go. Oh, Jesus. Dylan Lupton's going in insane. No tires, just gas. Ka chow. Oh my god, we have. Because we have Johnny Sarter behind. Actually, you know what? I actually don't want to be in front right now. Weirdly enough, and I know that sounds really weird to say. I'm go I'm literally going to be like, hey, you know what? That's fine. I'm getting pushed. There. Oh, my God. Austin Wayne Self comes in from... Oblivion. There we go. Okay, we're good now. So we have a couple drivers that totally just lost the draft. Hello, that's a... Uh, that's an apron right there. Yeah, seriously. Okay, no, this is fine. I'm okay with just riding around right here until, uh, until all this kind of blows over. Now... In terms of the next stop, we can go 40 laps, give or take, around here. So, I... As soon as uh, lap 40 hits, that's when we can make it the rest of the way. Johnny Sauter is not cooperating with Dylan Lupton. See if we can cooperate with Johnny. Let's see what we can do here. There we go. Okay, we got it locked on. Now we control. Now if we go down low, he'll go down low. We have Austin O behind us. Johnny saw in front of us. There's no way we can lose. Johnny wants to go up high, but I want to go down low. He'll follow me if I go down low. But the thing is, that's, like I said, a double-edged sword because he'll that's blocking. So if I want to make a move, he's blocking me. I think for right now, for our intents and purposes. We'll just kind of just chill out down here. Whoa! Living on a prayer. Give it a little push. See if he can get past Dylan Lupton. Nope. Wonder. Travis Quaffle, when did he pit? I know he pit under a caution, but like, how many more laps of fuel does he have? push. Is that going to get you to the inside of Dylan or nah? That's a big fat no. Austin will give us a little push in three and four. Wait, this guy's off. 
Okay. Interesting. So Travis Quaffle gets screwed there. We definitely don't make it. Brett Moffitt is one lap down. He was... Oh, wow. We have some big names back there. Brett Moffitt, Ross Chastain. Christian, I guess, I guess you can kind of fill under that. That's a break check and a half. Yep. I mean, they do that. And I roughly do that. I wonder what that caution was for. Who's out of this race? Natalie Decker's in the top ten. What a life we live. <laughs> okay. Um... Okay, let's see what happens here. All right, you're coming to the green. Be ready here. Green flag, green flag. So someone else is out of this race. Car outside. Who it be? Is that Ross again? Still there. Car outside. Oh, wow. Dylan Lupton got a great run. Still there. Mason Massey's hooked on. Oh, give us a good old push from the good old boys. Stay low. All right, kind of back off me a little bit, dude. All right, chat. If a uh, caution came out where uh, we are within All right, clear the territory of our last stop. Let's see if we can lock on with Johnny again. He just totally just slid on up and all clear. Did you reckon MTJ was 35th? Oh wow. Mamma mia. Alright, Johnny. trying. There we go. We got Johnny locked on. Let's bring him back to the bottom. Uh, we got Mason Massey as well, so... Trying to bring these both to the bottom. There we go. See... When you are able to coordinate who you're drafting with, the Super Speedways are a lot of fun. I mean, they're a lot of fun regardless, but I'm just saying. With the controller? Why not? Honestly, I think it's a lot of fun with a controller. I mean, for anyone that is in chat that doesn't know, I'm playing, I always play with a controller. So, uh, yeah, I like to think that this is decent driving with, uh, with controller work. So, yeah. Oh, my God. Natalie Decker's up into fourth, my guy. What are you doing up here? Honestly, I think it's just a little bit of practice. But like, yes, it took it takes a lot of tweaks, but you'll get used to it.
So someone lost a draft, it looks like. Give Johnny a little, little bumper encouragement. I guess we're riding around in the middle. McDowell has been actually like becoming like super good in uh, the Praxis Cup series. Weirdly enough, um, he's been posting like borderline top tens for three weeks now. Yeah, it looks like Ross DNF'd again. You hate to see it. You hate it for his guys. Alright, I definitely expect there to be a caution. One more time. At least one more. Maybe more. So far, there has, hasn't been any uh, big ones. Hello. No, because I, I, that's not really a, uh, a question I can really answer right now. It's like one of those things that like, I have to kind of wait and see. Man, it is just a solid lineup here. Let's kind of go down low. It looks like... Uh, Kyle Benjamin's trying to form up something. Okay, back down to the bottom, gents. Yep, there we go. Like I said, Kyle Benjamin, I knew, was forming up something. So if we just maintain the bottom... I highly doubt any of them can actually be able to get past us. We got the ultimate alliance. The deadly alliance, if you will. Here's the question. Is there ever a world where we kind of shortstop this or no? I know that sounds absolutely insane, but essentially we're pitting here within the next 15 or so laps. Do I ever just kind of shortstop it? Take on uh, rights only, and just go the distance. So when, if I shouldn't say when, if a caution comes out, I can just cycle back to the lead. It's it's a gamble. It's a huge gamble, actually.
But is it a gamble I'm willing to take? Green chat. So, mm, crew chief, question. Is there ever a point where we just kind of shortstop this? Because we can make it the rest of the way if a caution comes out. However, I don't want to guarantee that a caution comes out. All of these guys will need to stop eventually. So, do I just kind of shortstop this? Or nah. Alright. We got Johnny back up. Because if a caution comes out, I feel like it would be soon. to go. What's the what's the lap that uh, what's the lap that we should uh, pitch at? The rights only. I can I can see it. The only having to last thirty more laps. What do you think? Lap 75? I'm thinking lap, lap 75 is when we would come down, come on down. The thing is, as well, the longer we stay out, the better, better chance we have of forming up with that one lone car. Okay. Let's pit on that uh, upper limit, so lap 75. It's a gamble. I think it will work out. So we have that scheduled on lap 75. The only thing that's going to hamper us if, if uh, caution comes out before that. Yeah, test them. So I think we're all in agreement then. Okay, let's bring, up, bring it on down. There we go. All right, lap 75 it is. Like I said, it's a gamble. The screen just kind of froze right there. Usually that's a mean means of someone blowing up or something like that, tire going down or anything like that. The only gamble that is really going to hamper us is if we go a lap down. So that's our major concern. So I guess the later that we wait, my guess is at uh, 13 laps and about to drop to 12. Um, the thing is, is the longer we wait, the better chance. Or, or I, let me rephrase that. Um, the earlier we pit the better chance a caution will come out and we'll be able to cycle to the lead. However, the longer we wait, if a caution comes out and we go a lap down, we'll have to start behind everyone because we'll most likely be the lucky dog. And it is going to be a hard fought road to get back up to the front. Alright, so next lap. And if we can form up with that, uh, 
with that uh, lone person right there that's going through to turn one right now. All right, this time, this time. I'm honestly thinking four. Uh, I don't know though. Yeah, my tire, my tire deck is a little too, too much. I would have to go four. All right, this time, this time. Definitely feel like I nah, no, I'll keep that where it is. Um Yeah, four tires. I don't think I don't think I'll survive. Sixteen seconds. Okay. Like I said, Chad, this is a huge gamble, but uh if a caution comes out while I'm still ahead, it works out for us. I can I can almost guarantee there's gonna be at least one more caution. Clear the pin, hammer down. Oh, it's Ross that's back here. Chat. Caution. Mm mm mm. That's why we do. <laughs> see oh that couldn't have been timed any better now who is the lucky dog Christian Eckes is the lucky dog okay <laughs> oh that was perfection thank you Ross <laughs> oh <laughs> I do get the lead. Ready, ready. All right, let's go. So what happened here? What's the lowdown? What I miss? All right, clear outside. Matt Crafton right here. That's 2019 Truck Series winner Matt Crafton to you. So it looks like a couple people gambled on. Uh, two tires as opposed to four and so on and so forth like looks like Matt Crafton gambled on two Todd Gillen gambled on two Travis Quaffle really benefited from that he's back up here in the top five Oh, we got a huge... Oh, I couldn't stop that. That is too fast. Okay. You know what? Yeah, let's go, Johnny. Carry me home. Country roads. Okay, the thing is... The thing that sucks right now is I'm on the outside. Outside and no foreseeable person or thing opening because my signer is going to close up real fast, quick, fast, and in a hurry. We got 20 to go. Oh, okay, never mind. I guess uh, my signer didn't open up, uh, didn't close in quick, fast, and in a hurry. 
But Natalie Decker, what a bunch of misfits we have up here. We have Natalie Decker in third, oh, Travis Quaffle in the lead. I saw my Snyder coming. I wasn't about to block and get wrecked. Still there. But we got Travis Quaffle now. Let's see what the outside can do. Come on, Johnny, where's my support? Oh my god, because everyone's down on the bottom. That's why. Decker has a shot. I swear to God, if Decker wins this race and gets wins to get into the playoffs. Alright, got Travis Quaffle hooked on. Oh. Is there no one? Okay, I guess there's no one down below. Come on, Matt, let's go down to the bottom. Careful, still there. My god, Natalie Decker's in the lead. What a world we live in. Where Decker is in the lead. And legitimately has a shot at this lead. Alright, Gustine. Oh, okay, I guess not you. No, oh, okay, maybe it is you then. New leader. Oh my god, that was just awkward all around. I wasn't trying to uh, make a pass on Gustine there, but okay, whatever works. <laughs> New leader looks like Decker, because it is Decker. She won't win, though. I can already guarantee she won't win. I'll be, sh I'll be sure to not let her win, I'll say that. Okay, let's see, our momentum just stopped right there. Matt Crafton got us hooked. Who is that behind him? Is that Todd? I think that's Todd. Okay, Jordan Anderson, new leader. Oh, thanks, Matt. want her to win for the memes oh god it'd be like my ultimate failure because i created this playoff format and here natalie decker goes at daytona and just like yeah i'm just gonna win and that's i'm just gonna luck my way into a a, a round of 16 playoff berth let's go sure whatever whatever dog I do want to see, like, if push came to shove, if I can make anything work on the high side. Like, if I had to go to the outside for the lead, if I can make anything work. Come on. I had to get Matt off me. He was... He was honestly... Well, Tyler Ankum now. Hello. Justine, going for it. Tyler Ankum may give us a shot here. Still there. Just stay in line. Stay in line. Bottom's looking good. You're all clear up top. All right, Jordan Anderson's up here now. Come on, Jordan. Let's go. I want to give you a shot. You're a cool dude. You're a cool dude, my dude. Up in Grand Vigor. Where did he come from? That's Pole Sitter. 
went to the back. He was on the precipice of going a lap down. And now here he is. Like I said, Chad, I'm, I'm kind of experimenting to see if I can make the outside work. So far, I'm not really seeing a whole lot that I'm impressed with. Kind of try to side draft right there. Side drafting pretty effectively, though. And it's that front row Joe. There we go. We got Tyler Ankum hooked on. Oh, nice little shot in the middle of the corner, Jordan. We get, we get side drafted by Josh Rayum. Give Tyler Ankum a shot into turn one. I don't think the top's working at all. Yes, they do, actually. Um, Cup literally handles so much better than the Xfinity cars do. Uh, trucks are kind of like the medium between the both. So, like, in my opinion, Xfinity cars handle the worst. Uh, trucks handle the... Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Cup handles the best. And like I said, um, trucks are in the middle. All right, you're clear. Oh, what a run. Oh, but it's like Green and Finger's gonna start holding us up here. Oh, we're getting massively side drafted. Stay on the bottom. Side draft from Josh Rium there. But Grandfinger is trying to trying to go the distance. Yeah, it really is, honestly. I mean, I don't know if it was on purpose or if it was like just accidentally programmed like that. But uh, um, it just so happened to work out that Cup is like the easiest one to handle. Like, Homestead is the prime example of that. Austin Wayne... Hello, that's an apron. Austin Wayne Self looking to uh, make a move. He's hard charging down below. Oh, he has a big run coming. Now we're going to have a good push. Granite Finger trying to get into the playoffs. Currently he's in, but he wants a little more, a little more insurance. Uh, who do I help? Granite Finger or Gustine? Judging who's behind me. Ooh, okay, so this changes everything. Kinda. Let's see here. Who gets the lucky dog? I don't think it's it's gonna matter at the, in this point in time. But Ross Chastain gets the uh, lucky dog. It's Josh Blakey and Spencer Boyd who's out of this race, but someone, someone blew up. So let's see. Well, chat, we're gonna have. A mad dash to the finish. Can we get there?
Reese are only on the inside, so that's good. All right, you're coming to the ready. Looks like Tyler Ankrum blew up. All right, dig driver. Come on, Jordan Anson. Give me a little help here, dude. Oh, come on, Jordan. Jordan, jab with me, bud. Please. <laughs> oh, I guess all bets are off, dude. you just like, nah. Okay, well, if I'm going down, you're going down there with me, dude. Oh, now you decide to draft with me. Okay, good talk. Oh, man, that was a terrible restart. 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 Yes, good talk. All right, well, all right, we got three, three more laps to make it right. Who is going to win it? Who is going to advance to the playoffs? I see three that can punch their ticket right now. It's going to stay down low, but Harrison Burton's covering all the right areas. Stay low, stay low. Granite Finger is doing everything he can. Assistance. Still there. All the way to the wall. There we go. Pass three right there. Mason Massey. Two to go. Holding the bottom. Who's in front of him? Gustine. Granite finger, you gotta stick to the bottom, my guy. It's not going to work. They're hooked on. Uh, okay, Chad, we got we got to make something happen here. I, I'm thinking about going to the high side because that's like the only way that I'm going to even try to. Because they're hogging the bottom. I can't make a move without going below the double yellow line, but I'll have to wait to the back stretch. Grand Finger trying to get White his flag. way into the playoffs. White flag is out one more time around. And Finger blocking, blocks up all of our progress. It's a solid line down here. I'm purposely not touching Mason Massey because I don't want to get locked on here. Gonna get a huge run. We got we gotta go somewhere. We gotta go to the top. Still there. Jordan Anderson, you with me? He's not with me. Uh, okay, well back to the bottom we go. Well we tried, chat. Grand finger. But he will do it. And he punches his way into the playoffs officially. Okay. Whew. I'll take that. I'll take that, honestly. That was a good race. Fourth, I'll take a top five any day of the week, especially at a play track, you know? Well, apparently, we had the fast lap, so hey, that's fine. I'll take that. Free point. Johnny gets that uh, bonus point for leading the most laps. On the move goes to Gustine. Okay. Last a second. Almost did a last a first. But what we did, honestly, I think it was a little little bit better. We did... No, not at all. <laughs> we did 29th to first. But Grant and Finger, good job, my boy. That's how we do it. So we increase our championship lead because, you know, we are very consistent. We have seriously... I've been very consistent ever since the season began. We have yet to finish. No, we finished outside the top 10 once, and that's it. Other than that, Brett Moffat had a terrible day down there in, tw in 29th. He lost a draft and was just not able to recover. Uh, you hate it for those guys. Ross, 
after getting that lucky dog made his way up to 21st, but that's not enough. Oh, but Grant Enfinger, kudos to him. Good job, my boy. And 72 and Dean has been disqualified. You know, honestly, I think it's just one of those things that, like, um, probably had to finish the second. Um, I think it's just like one of those things that, uh, like, it doesn't matter where you start in the play tracks. It just only matters where you finish. Still no wins here at Daytona, but we've been fast with 104 speed rating. But Chad, just before I let everyone go for the uh, truck of tomorrow side of things, here is the setup. Uh, I keep saying setups. Um, here is the setup settings. God, if I can talk to you, they have a great that I was running with. It was with low draft effect. We had a lot of problems with the draft, and we relied on this thing right here. But of course, that was only for one race. Back off it goes. And of course, 105 difficulty, hardest difficulty there is, 100% race length, all that fun stuff. That was a good race. You know, like I said, I'll take a top five any day. We increase our championship lead. Um, Granite Finger gets in. I think. Yeah, hang on. Let me do. Let me do a little digging and see where he is right now in terms of the playoffs. He was ninth, 63 above the cutoff, but now he's in. So that's awesome. Good. Good to see. Good to see. Um, now the people that lost the most and had the most to gain was Gus Dean down there in 26th place he's minus 25 out and if he would have won that would have been his ticket to the playoffs but whatever you win some you lose some and today he lost some 